Hello, my name is Afredio Salmon Mijage from Educare Tanzania. Welcome in this session, uh, the Form 1 student to proceed with our study topic, so called the economic development, uh, and I mean development, development of economic activities and their impacts. So, uh, on the last session, we ended on looking uh, about agriculture and the economic development. Uh, so now we are going to see another another development in economic activities that was happening in Africa, and that is trade. Uh, trade in the pre-colonial Africa. Uh, trade is the process of buying and selling of goods and services between people. To mean that. Trade is the process of selling and buying goods and service between people. Uh, there, were, there was need to trade in order to get all things needed by the communities. To mean that there was the need to trade in order to get all things needed by the communities. So pre-colonial pre African societies conducted the trade in order to get those other things which were needed within the community. And trade tends to develop in any society where there is surplus production. To mean that uh, trade tends to develop in any community or in any society where the production of surplus. To mean that the pre-colonial African societies, due to the development in production, they they found themselves that they have got the production of surplus, and thus. Uh, influenced it to participate in different trading activities so that's why now to we are uh, we are we are learning about a pre-colonial african or pre-colonial trade in pre-colonial africa uh, so the the let us see the methods of trade which were used in pre-colonial africa the methods which were used in a trade. The first one was barter trade as the system of exchange of goods for goods. For example, exchange of pots for goods or mains. To mean that barter trade or barter system, this was the method or system of exchange of goods for goods. To mean somebody could bring the goods and you have to exchange that good with another goods. For example, the Maasai bring the kettle and the exchange with the maize or, or iron equipment. Uh, another is a currency method of trade, is where money is used as the medium of exchange. In pre-colonial Africa, iron ores, lots of cloth, copper, lots, salty and gold were used as money. It means, it means in the pre-colonial African societies, iron or iron ores, lords of cloth, copper lords, salty and gold were used as money during the pre-colonial African societies. But another method was there was butter trade, uh, the exchange of goods for goods. So these were the methods of trading activities during the pre-colonial African societies. So let us see the, the, uh, another term which is so-called local trade. It means that local trade refers to the kind of trade which is conducted within the same geographical area. It means that local trade refers to the kind of trade which is conducted within the same area or geographical area place or geographical area that we call local trade. In local trade goods are exchanged between people living in the same geographical area such as town or village. It means that in local trade the goods, I mean in local trade goods are exchanged between people living in the same geographical area such as a town or village and the local trade was not for profit making but just to obtain essential goods to me that the local trade in pre-colonial african societies was not for profit making rather than just obtaining the essential goods in the community uh, for, that is for example pastoral communities 
like the Maasai needed vegetables and the grains from cultivators like the Nyakusa and the Chaga to mean that as you take example from the Maasai or pastoral community like Maasai or Kalamajo were needed the vegetables and the grains from cultivators or crop cultivators like the Nyakusa and the Chaga so that was the exchange of goods for goods uh, that's so we call the local trade what were the impacts of local trade the first one local trade united people within the same area to mean that local trade resulted in the unification of people within the same area due to the trading activities there was interaction of that people and they were united to form one thing in the same geographical area Another communities obtained goods such as tools, weapons, food stuff, and the medical herbs. To mean that the another impact of local trade mean that the pre-colonial African communities obtained goods such as tools, weapons, food stuffs, and medical herbs that were needed in the particular society or community. Another impact of local trade was transport routes were improved. It mean that. The transport routes were, uh, were improved because the trading activities were accompanied with the use of trade routes which were, which were the traders or those who participated in the trade were using it as, as the ways in transporting or moving from one place to another within the same geographical area. Uh, another Another impact of local trade is some important market centers emerged along the market routes. To mean that some important market centers emerged along the market routes. Uh, that was another impact of local trade. And the last one, local trade encouraged the communities to expand production. To mean that the local trade encouraged the communities to expand production because there was the high need of various items or products that were exchanged in the local trade. So that was all about the local trade. So now let us see the regional trade. Regional trade refers to a trade to trade conducted from one region to another or trade conducted between two different geographical regions that we call regional trade. By, for, for example, we can take an example of Mtuala and Lindi. It means that the people from Mtuala are going to, 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 to make trading activities with the, the people of Lindi. All people of Dar es Salaam are, going, um, are moving to Morogolo and participate or are conducting trading activities. That, are, that was what we call regional trade. Uh, and regional trade involved a wider variety of goods compared to local trade. To mean that the regional trade involved a wider variety of goods compared to local trade. And it was not for profit making. To mean that the regional trade was not aimed at making profit rather than obtaining the essential uh, goods as it was in local trade. For example, regional trade was transala trade, long distance trade of East Africa and Central Africa. So these were examples of regional trade. As I've told you that transala trade in West Africa, long distance trade of East Africa and Central Africa. Regional trade in the pre-colonial Africa took place in 19th century, which means that the regional trade in pre-colonial African society was Take place, I mean, took place in 19th century. Let us see the 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 people who participated in long distance trade in East Africa. There was the Kamba, the Kamba, the Kamba were leading the long distance trade throughout or through Northern Lut in the. 19th century, it means that the Kamba were leading the long distance trade through northern route in the, in the 19th century. Uh, in the 19th century, uh, and the Kamba, the, the Kamba caravan, the Kamba caravan brought ivory, guns, 
The Kamba Calavan brought ivory guns, hides, and the beeswax from the interior. And from the coast, they obtained the cloth, cloth, salt, copper, cords, shares, and the jewelry. It means that the Kamba Calavan brought ivory guns, ice and the beeswax from the interior to the coastal areas. And uh, from the coastal areas, they brought or they found or they obtained the clothes, salt, copper, cories, cherries, and the jars. That was all about the Kamba with their northern loot. Uh, on the southern, there were the Yao. The Yao traders got beds and the clothes from Kilwa. It means they got the beds and the clothes from Kilwa. They also captured and sold the slaves from neighboring communities. Uh, and the Yao chief, chiefs, such as Mpanda, Mataka, Machemba, and Mtalika, dominated in the southern loot during the long distance trade in East Africa. It means that the Yao. Chief, the Yao chiefs such as Mpanda, Mtalika, Mataka and Machemba were dominated in the southern lodge during the long distance trade that conducted in East Africa. Uh, and the central lodge was uh, involved in the Nyamwez. The Nyamwez dominated in the central lodge conducted in trade between the interior of Tanganyika and the coast. The Nyamwez sold these slaves and the ivory-eyed lino sellers on and other items. So the Nyamwez were, were providing the were providing ivory eyes lino sellers on and the slaves and were sold these slaves to the to the Swahili traders and the Arabs from the coastal areas. The Nyamwez traders succeeded because of the following reasons. To mean that the Nyamwez was succeeded due to the due to the following reasons. The first reason is the Nyamwez the Nyamwez leaders such as the Mzirikazi, Nyunguyamawe and the Milambo supported the trade. To mean that the Nyamwez succeeded in the trade because their leaders was provided much support during the trade. For example, Mzirikazi, Nyunguyamawe and Milambo were the leaders who supported the long distance trade specifically in the central route of, of during the long distance trade in East Africa. But also, the second reason Nyamwez were, con were contrary placed on the route to the coast. It means that the Nyamwez were centrally, centrally placed on the route to the coast. It means that the Nyamwez were located on the center, uh, center place toward the, toward the coast. So it was either or it was linked to the different parts were linked the different parts in the during the long distance trade so you can see how it was doing uh, during that time period uh, the another reason is high demand for trade items such as ivory and the slaves to mean that high demand for trade items such as ivory and the slaves to mean that the nyamwes were provided in large extent the items such as ivory and the slaves to the uh, Swahili traders and the Arabs. So that's why the Nyamwez were succeeded in trade. Also, the, there was existence of variety of trade. It means that there was existence of variety of trade items such as ivory and gold as well as slaves. It means that made the Nyamwez to succeed during the long distance trade because they had a variety of trade items that were much needed in the long distance trade. Another or the last one, Zanzibar needed slaves and the ivory in the 1800 AD. And that made the Nyamwez to succeed because slaves and the ivory that were produced or provided by the Nyamwez were highly needed by Zanzibar domination and that gave the succession, success of Nyamwe's, Nyamwe's region. Uh, another, uh, by the 
1830 AD there were three main trade routes that were the southern route, central route and the northern route. Uh, to mean that uh, during the long distance trade, the, during the long distance trade in East Africa with the Swahili traders and Arabs, there was three main trade routes. That was the southern route controlled by Yao, uh, the central route controlled by the Nyamwes, and the northern route controlled by the Kamba traders from the coast, bloat, cloth, beds, wire, and guns. Why not wire? Wine and guns. From the interior, from the interior, goods were ivory and slaves. So that's all about, that was all about uh, the long distance trade. Let us, uh, I mean, regional trade. So uh, and, until there, let us see the impacts of, uh, of regional trade or effects of uh, regional trade. The, let us start with the positive consequences or impacts. The first one, some of traders become very rich. For example, Milambo and Isike, to mean that some traders who participated fully during the regional trade, specifically long distance trade in Africa, become very rich. Uh, for example, Chief Milambo and the Isike were the one who participated fully during the, tra the trade. Another, the communities were able to obtain new commodities such as guns, clothes, beds, and the ivory. It means that the communities uh, succeeded to uh, attain the new or to obtain the new commodities which were assisted them at large extent for example guns for defense clothes to cover their bodies beds are the ornament uh, and the ivory that were used are the are the symbol in their kingdoms uh, another the lives of trade centers such as Sandas, Pangan, Bagamoyo, Tabola, Ujiji, Voi, and Taveta. These were trading centers which were, uh, which were grown or lies due to the regional trade that was take place, I mean it took place in East Africa. Uh, another impact or positive impact is the lies of trade routes. It means that the regional trade gave the rise of trade routes like uh, Southern Route under uh, Yao, the Central Route under uh, the Nyamwes, and the Northern Route under uh, the Kamba. Uh, the, another effect is uh, the rise of powerful empires or kingdoms such as Nyamwes Kingdom, which were under uh, Chief Milambo and the Chief Nyungwe Amau. These were leaders who, who managed to establish the power of empires in as the result of the regional trade. Also, new food crops such as maize, rice, and cassava were introduced. It means that those such kind of food crops which were uh, introduced by the Arabs and the, the, the people of interior or East Africa were conducted trade with those Swahili traders and the Arabs. So such why, that's why those food crops like maize, nut, rice and cassava were introduced. But also the last one, the spread of Islam by the Arabs to the interior of Tabola and Ujiji. It means that there was much spread of Islamic religion by the Arabs to the interior part of Tabola and Ujiji. And thus, until now, in Tabola, once you go there, you will find that there are many Muslims in Tabola and Ujiji. Or in Tabola region, it is accompanied with many Muslims. Because this was the result of regional trade or long distance trade that was conducted between the people of the interior of East Africa and the people from the coastal areas and the Swahili, I mean Swahili traders and the Arabs from the coastal areas. Uh, let us see the negative impacts of regional trade. The first one was the rise of inter tribal wars in order to get slaves, to mean that. The regional trade led to the rise of intertribal wars in the whole process of getting the slaves. Also, many elephants were killed as there was the high demand of ivory. It means that in African reserves or 
uh, East African reserves there was the masquerading of elephants as the ivory were, high, were in high demand by the Arabs and slave traders. Also, it led to the depopulation and underdevelopment in some areas as people were taken and sold as slaves. So that led to the depopulation and the underdevelopment because the productive forces were taken as slaves. Also, the slave raids caused the insecurity and the loss of innocent lives. To mean that slave raiders caused the insecurity yeah, in the communities where people were taken as slaves. Uh, and the fifth, foreigners used the trade routes to reach to the interior. To mean that the foreigners or colonial colonialists used the such trade routes to reach to the interior part of East Africa that were used during the long distance trade or regional trade. Uh, and the, the another one was exploitation of African uh, Yes, another impact of regional trade was the, the another, another, another negative impact of regional trade was the exploitation of African wealth by the European and the Asians. It means that there was exploitation of African resources or wealth by the Europeans and Asians because those Asians and Europeans were in high need or high demand of the African resources like gold, copper, ivory and lionocellus. So the African resources were exploited by those people. That was the another result of regional trade. And the last one was decline of local industries in Africa as the, the Europeans and Asians were discouraged the, the development of industries in Africa. And that's why those who tried it to participate or involve themselves, their ends were chopped off. Uh, and others were killed, but the, they were made the mass importation of manufactured goods in order to kill the local industries in Africa, and all those were the result of regional trade. So let us see the the East Africa map showing loots, showing loots, uh, commodities and societies involved in long distance trade. Uh, the we are going to see the the East African map to show the the routes which were involved in during the long distance trade. So here there is the the northern route, which is here, which was passed through Bunyolo, Tolo. Ankole, Kalagwe, then to Tabola here. And there was another from uh, here, here in, 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 in Ujiji, nearby Tabora, the Akasongo, in, 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 in Kigoma, here. Uh, this was the central route that was closed in Nyamwe there uh, up to the, the coastal areas, but there was another route here that was the northern one the, by the Kamba here. Uh, this was the northern route whereby there was Kamba, uh, this was controlled by the Kamba, Pandit, Luke, Rimanjaro, uh, Chaga area here, uh, and the central route is, was connected through this route, uh, Toro, Ankole, Kalagwe, and uh, the here, uh, Kazembe, Lua, Fipa, and uh, neighboring areas. But there was the, the, the southern routes which controlled it by Yao. Uh, so we have seen almost all the trade routes controllers Yao, Nyamwezi, the Iskamba, the northern route, central route, I mean the northern route by the Kamba, Nyamwezi controlled the central route and the Yao controlled the, the southern route and those routes were linked toward the coastal area. This is the ocean of Indian Ocean whereby the Arabs and the Swahili traders were, uh, were located. 
So that was the East African map showing the uh, the commodities. I mean the trade routes that we are used in 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 a long distance trade in East Africa. It means showing the even the society. So I would like to end up there and give you some questions which you have to perform. And uh, questions are almost three. The first one is mention items provided by Nyamwez. The second one is list three trade routes during regional trade in East Africa. And the last one define butter trade. Uh, so this the question which you are supposed to perform. Form one student, just try your level best and to measure your understanding capacity on what we have learned today. So I would like to thank you for watching our 